Hey guys, it's Quick Switch, and yes, it's worse than I thought. So remember a couple of days ago, uh, most likely a week ago, I did a video about this figure, but it was the prototype picture, so we didn't get the colors or a proper look at the alternative form or the accessories. But now we have the final pictures and accessories at tfsource.com, link links in the description. But yeah, so in that video I raged a lot, and in this video I I will rage a lot more, uh, because in that video I said I don't want to make final opinions, because when when the colored images come out, when we see the the accessories, I will make a final decision on it, on is this figure good or not. And, um, well, I did uh, realize some things about the price, and I did understand a few things, I absolutely hate this figure at the moment. The, the colors didn't help at all. So, first of all, we have the robot mode, and this is one of the more reasonable pictures. But, I just, I just gotta say... The weapons look really lame. I mean, I know they're accurate, but at least they should have done something to to just to, to just make them look more cohesive. And the the sword, especially, it has this kind of um, point where you can fold it in, and 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 you can clearly see that point, and it, it just looks so stupid. And and here is the other thing I want to talk about. I I had I had that problem when uh, when when uh, when we when I looked my when, when I took a look at the at the prototype pictures. I said that he's fat from the side, and he's still fat. And I I know I get it I get it. I mean there is a lot of junk to store, and I just want to find a picture here where we can like see his back. But I know there are many things to store in this figure, but I just don't get it. Like, it just looks so fat and so not dynamic. Now, the details look absolutely amazing, and I gotta give them credit. And it looks like they even use proper scales to the dino mode, which is, I gotta say, actually pretty good. The dino mode is actually kind of good compared to what we saw in the prototype pictures. They actually slimmed it down a little bit and they gave it a lot of posability and a lot of expression. So I really do appreciate that. But the robot mode is something that people like, but I completely dislike because I think this robot mode is just, it's just garbage. And there are things that should have been done that would make this figure so much better. And, and I'm so sad that they didn't do it. And look at this. I'm just, just look at this. Like, so, like, I, uh, like, I just don't get it. Sorry, I had to take a little of a break there because I got too angry and my phone started ringing. So that was a plus. And yes, just what I was about to say, there are things that should have been made that would make this figure actually very good. But they're not made. I mean, okay, I can actually tolerate the, the chest being a little fat from the side. That's something that I don't really care about because I will display him. If I will ever get him, I would display him from the front. But my, uh, like my, my, uh, my feelings at the moment tell me that I am not going to get this figure. So I'm not in that position. Uh, and just, just overall, posability, it actually looks to be an interesting, po like, a good posability. And there are a lot of things that look good on this figure, and uh, mostly what I'm most excited for is the transformation, because that looks very interesting, but I just, I just, I just don't get it. And, and the main problems, I think, are noticeable when we get to the size comparison with Primal and Cheetor. This figure is not in size. It's not in size, and if you take a look at him, you can see that his arms are oversized and his chest are so oversized compared to his um, to his lower body, his legs. They're just 
his upper body is just so oversized, and especially the head. Compared to Cheetor or even Optimus Primal, the head looks like it's it's just it it, it looks so funny. I mean, it's so big, and it, it's so big compared to the other figures. And if I know right, this line is about. Uh, everything sized to Optimus Primal, but I don't see any sizing right here. I mean, MP Dinobot doesn't even deliver the size he should be, and I'm really mad about that. Well, I gotta give props to the Dino Mode, because that looks very good, and there is seeming to be a lot of underside junk, which I don't really care about, and a little bit of the shoulder guards kind of just sticking out, from the side of the legs, but it still looks better, I think, than the than the robot mode. So, I'm, so I actually like the Dino mode. I think that's a that's a plus for him. And then it looks like the weapon could spin, which is accurate, but I don't really care. And you could just even like see here, like how much he's not in scale, and and his body is is how, um, oh, like what, like. Uh, not proportion. Like the upper body is just so big, and the lower body is just so small. I don't know, guys. I, I I'm kind of just lost, uh, lost in a loss of words for this one. Uh, I I don't think you should buy this, and um, it's 250 bucks still. Uh, which at the point when it was uh first uh shown. I did not understand, um, and I do understand the price now a little bit, but it's still not enough. So of course now we know that he's bigger than Optimus Primal, which is a downside, and and uh, like he's much bigger than Optimus Primal than he should be, which is kind of a downside, but kind of a kind of a positivity if you go for for your for your uh, like what like value for for your money um but basically i think what gives away most of the price is the amount of accessories compared to the amount of accessories that we got with for example Cheetor or, or optimus primal uh, you can see that he comes with a stand which is in two parts and it has this um this arm so overall i just uh i just like that they include the stand uh, and I do see some kinds of, uh, like, three of those clear pieces that I can't really uh, identify. Maybe they're for the, uh, for the stand to hold up the dino mode better. But we can already see that, yes, the tail is a separate piece, which I'm really mad about. And I hope that the tail is posable. I really hope that, but I'm afraid it will not be posable, which would be such a shame. Now, no alternative heads for the Dino Mode, which is kind of sad, because we did see that with Optimus and Cheetor 2, so I'm kind of sad about that. But the, but the Robot Mode comes with three heads, which uh, look like he has a, looks like he has a smiling face. An angry face and just a neutral face, but it might differ. I don't know. And then he has the disc, uh, which is very reminiscent of that episode where he uses it. Uh, and he has that kind of clear, uh, pointy thing that has two, uh, two kind of sticks coming out of it. And it doesn't look too functional, but it turns out it's because. <laughs> Dinobot's head, at least in robot mode, has a light built into it. So when you put on that that accessory, that clear pointy accessory, you can see that he can have his laser eyes. And this is the only kind of picture and pose I would like for this guy, because I think the laser eyes are pretty cool, and I like their their addition. But you can see here too, it's just not proportionate. I think it looks horrible. But, uh, and, and just coming back to the accessories, of course, there's the sword which I was talking about. And yeah, that's it. And comparing it to Optimus, who was 120 and came with two swords and, uh, and 
what, like, six alternative faces, uh, the, the monkey mode and the robot mode combined. Um, judging by that, I can understand that they priced him up. Uh, but I sh I don't think that it should be more than $200. Uh, I mean, that stand, I don't think it's worth so much. Uh, I mean, come on, a Bandai Tamashi Act 5 Nation stand, which you can use for anything, and I'm sure this stand is exclusive for Dinobot. Uh, like... A Tamashi Nations Act 5 stand, it's, it's what, well, like, $30? Which is still, like, 20... Like, like, what, like, it's still cheaper, I think, than what they're asking extra for just the base. If you, if you look at the price. But, I don't know. So, guys, I'll let you be the judge in the comments. To me, it's still just a big deny. But it can very much change... Uh, if if Takara does something interesting, and if if they price it down to two hundred dollars or gosh darn one hundred and fifty, I might start saving up, because then it might look good next to my Beast Wars MP display. But I don't know, and uh, that's where you guys come in. You can tell me in the comments if you like this or not, if you will purchase this or not, and if you will purchase this, uh, will you buy it at the price of now, what you can get it for now, or you will wait till it drops down. I am very excited to hear your thoughts in the comments. I was Quick Switch, and I will see you on the other side. Peace!